Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts or Artie Crafts in my pajamas. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me today. So today we are going to be looking at how we decorated our front porch and our back deck. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys everything we got and a few DIYs as well. So for the first thing, we have these uh walkway lights that we got for the sidewalk that's going up to the front porch these are solar lights that we got from lowe's or was it home depot i don't remember if we got these from lowe's or home depot but i will go ahead and leave the link for these in the description as well as everything else that we got in this video as long as i can find a link for it i will leave it down in the description So next we have these adhesive hooks that I got from Amazon. These are command hooks. We just use them to hang our string lights. We got these from Amazon as well. Um, our deck roof part is kind of like, it is real wood, but it's very thin. So if you try to screw a hook in, it just goes right through. Um, so we just wanted to use the adhesive ones if we could. At the end, um, one of them kept falling down, so we just got some hooks from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and just used that for one of them. So we could screw it in, but anyway, they look so beautiful. They're really bright and pretty. It was hard for me to get a very good <laughs> video or picture of them just because my phone is not that great for like nighttime, or at least I don't know how to use it for nighttime, but anyway... They're super bright and they came with bulbs, like a few extra bulbs to replace it if you need to. And yeah, they're really, really pretty. And the solar lasts a long time for those as well. So next, going outside, we went to a local nursery near us and grabbed a whole bunch of flowers. How stinking pretty is this? Got this from Walmart for like 10, maybe it was 11 doll hairs. This is actually, um, they actually have three sizes of these, but this one is pretty good size. Look at my hand. So it's pretty big, perfect for our balcony because we don't have a ton of room out there, but we'll add a little something nice in the corner. But they actually have three sizes and that's the smallest one. The next size up is 20 and then after that I think it's like 40. But yeah, so they do go quite a bit bigger, but I think it's so, so pretty and matches the colors we have out there really well. Then we got these from Amazon and they're actually like little hooks for the railing. They hook onto these, let's see if I can get it out of here with one hand. They hook onto these little buckets, tiny little buckets and then hooks onto here and you can hang them on the railing. So we got a bunch of flowers for those. This comes with 10 in the pack, but I think we got enough. Um, I think we just got six flowers to go in here so I don't know we might get more later but I wasn't sure how many I was going to want on the railing but I will leave everything that we're using linked in the description um, if I can like this one's from Walmart this from Walmart the lights are from or this from Amazon the lights are from Amazon then we got these um skinny like planters they had ones that do go over the railing but I kind of like these a little bit better um if we got the other ones that went over the railing then I was gonna have to spray paint them because I didn't like the color and so these are actually gonna match really well and we just got some sort of like hanging gadget thingy which I'll show you guys how we attach these but these are also gonna go on the deck so right now we're on the front porch, but we got all this potting soil. 
I don't know if it's even going to be enough. But then here is all the flowers that we got so far. I think they're so pretty. Got a ton of different ones. And then this is something that my parents gave me. I think they found it at a thrift store or something. Thought I would like it. It did have another piece here, but it broke off. Someone stepped on it or something. I don't know. But I thought that would be cute to plant in. I don't know if we got enough flowers for everything. Um, I don't think we actually got any for that one because I wasn't sure exactly how I want to do it. But this is actually my grandpa's old toolbox, which is really cool. So I want to plant flowers in there. And I just have this crate. I want to stain it um, like a weathered wood probably. And then I have this and one matching one um, over here that I found at Goodwill, I believe. And then I also found this little guy at Goodwill. And then over here I have these, um, I don't know what they're called, crocs or ceramic. Anyway, they're like antiques, and I think they're so pretty. So we're just going to plant a bunch of flowers in there. What does this say? Monmouth pottery. Anyway, so pretty. So we are going to get going planting all of these. I don't know when this video is going to get up because I really want to build a bench for right here and I don't know how long that's going to take me, but <laughs> I'll try to include that in the video as well. And then just how we set up the whole porch. And then also this right here, Zach bought for me off of Facebook Marketplace. It's funny because it was like a bidding one. Oh, I don't think it was Marketplace, something else where you bid. Um, I think it's called the dollar auction or something. And he bid like, I don't know, I think it was like $40. We thought it was a lot bigger, but still so, so pretty. I think it's worth it. Um, but this thing is starting to come off. We used it all last year. And that's starting to come off, so I'm going to have to nail it or glue it back down. But... <laughs> Don't grab them, just look, okay? Are they pretty? Wow. One thing I noticed about these um, is that they have the holes in the bottom of them. Oh yeah, so, so it should nice. drain out nicely. Yeah. Put that in there. Not that in there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and then just showing you here how we put the buckets onto the railing. Super simple and I will have these linked in the description as well. Good job. That's right. A strong little one. And That's really good, little bag. Good job. That's a little hair. Flash us a smile, babers. Let me show you. You get a big one like this. Watch this. Oh. Get a big one. Oh. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Whoa. Okay. There you go. That's a good one. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Be gentle with it. Go ahead. Good job. What? Don't touch those anymore. Don't touch them? Yeah. Why? You, don't, you just don't touch them. Why? Did Daddy say not to touch them? Did not. Oh, okay. I see. She said Daddy did these and we're not supposed to touch them. But um, we got these in here. I think they are so pretty. And then this was the one that was supposed to go here on the railing. But the hooks came out like... 
this far. <laughs> and then they were supposed to go down and like hook over the basket. But yeah, they just came out really far so they can't couldn't tighten on the edge. So they were like way too far out, but then the bottom part supposed to go underneath here just went to like here. Anyway. But I think this basket goes so nicely with this rug and then our table. I want to transplant this basil plant. Zach's mom gave it to us. It's kind of falling down too, so try to get it up on the stick. Yeesh. I'm going to have to work on that because it's going towards the sun, but I feel like it's also kind of falling at the same time. We have our little guy with his grass hair right here. And anyway, I want just kind of like a prettier pot for this guy. And maybe I'll do that before this video even happens. So who knows? But anyway, so cute. I will show you guys what we end up doing with this one too. This is how the front door is looking right now. I want to get a new doormat really bad and then this is a watering can that belonged to my grandma and grandpa and i just fill up with some fake florals over here because this spot does not get much sun at all so just have these little fake ones back here this is a good first spot for them anyway out of the wind and not getting rained on so the mechanism thingy whatever hardware to put this on the railing was way too big and I looked on Amazon and I'm not finding anything that I really like very well to do so we're just gonna go ahead and do those same like small white ones that we did on the other railing in the front um, because we're on the deck right now and so um, I'm gonna leave these in here for now and we're gonna get some new flowers because we actually need three or we need four and there's only three in here so I'm gonna leave these in here for now and we'll see what we find for the other white buckets. The bench is here. This box is humongous, so I'm hoping we don't have to put it together. But we got this bench from Home Depot, so let's get it out. So pretty. And it is put together. So this is reclaimed barn wood. It's really like kind of rough. You might get splinters in your booty, so you gotta careful but I mainly want this for plants so it's very 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 pretty Nai -nai. Nai -nai. <laughs> you're funny <laughs> the grass feel funny okay yeah. hey, let's put this on you see it all get messy <laughs> there you are <laughs> so we just mixed water with this. <laughs> I'll help you get it. it with this uh, truffle Waverly chalk paint. We just put a little bit in there and then a bunch of water. We're going to use it like a stain. We got these crates from Michael's for 10 bucks a piece. Just going to mix in a little black because it's not as dark as I would like it. I don't want to mix it. You want to mix it too? Yeah. Is this working? Yeah, it is working. It is? Yeah. Oh, not too crazy. Oh. Okay. Try that now? Well, we have 
have to dry it off after this. You want to dry it off on you. Yeah, as soon as it's all painted, then we dry it off. This one. <laughs> Again. Your arm is always hiding, huh? Yeah. All right. pretty good. I'll help you finish that one. Not even myself. Well, hold on. No, we have to finish painting yours first, and then we'll wipe it off, okay? So this is how it looks. It's like really, really cool and rustic looking. What? It's so good. It looks so good? Yeah, it looks so, so good. <laughs> Great job, little bug. Thanks. You ready to get that shirt off? Yeah. Okay. I'll come help you. Okay. <laughs> say bye. You want to say bye? Yeah, bye. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with how these crates turned out. They're so rustic and beautiful looking. I think they look really weathered and old and that's exactly what I was going for. And you could set these up in a number of different ways. I just had to do it kind of strategically to make sure that the sun would hit every plant, but I think it turned out really, really pretty. We ended up putting the purple flowers into this little tin from Walmart. I'll try to leave that linked as well because it is so stinking adorable and it was like $7, I think. Then I ended up just grabbing the same exact rug that we already had because it's only like $11 at Walmart. And so I'm just going to take the old one to the back patio. Then I also grabbed two rugs from Target, one for the front porch and one for the back. I just put this first one in front of the bench. It's really pretty. And then the other one is going on the deck. And these are super durable. They're about 25 bucks a pop. Um but they are really, really nice, and you can just wash them with a hose, too. Koi was my cameraman when I was opening this up, so shout out to Koi. You're the best. And then after it had been out here for probably already a month, I've been working on these porches and deck for a while. Um, but, yeah, it definitely, all the bumps and everything are gone, and it's just nice and smooth. So I do have one DIY other than the crates to show you guys. I actually had these two pieces of wood for a really long time. I had painted them black underneath the white um, just so that when I sanded it and everything, it would look super old and distressed and rustic and everything. And I just used a Dollar Tree burner cover to make that round um, like sun-like shape in the top corner and then I am going to make some sun rays and the sign is going to say hello sunshine. We're going to put it on the front porch. I just eyeballed it with the tape and started painting on those sun rays. My phone actually turned off partway through this DIY because it said it was too hot but I didn't realize so I missed a little bit of it but you still see everything you need to see to know what I did. <laughs> So I did go ahead and paint in the circle, and that's the part that was missing. Um, but I just painted it in the circle to make the sun. And then I took my electric sander, and I really went to town on this. You could leave it just the way it was, but I really wanted this to look super, super weathered and distressed. I distressed everything on my channel, so just know... It, you obviously don't have to do that. If you don't like that style, you can just skip this step, but I'm always going to be distressing everything. <laughs>
until once I had a really good in distress, I just went ahead and made some, uh, I just went ahead and made some contact paper stencils with my Cricut. I used the contact paper from Walmart. It's the duck brand. I'll try to leave a link for that as well because you guys have been asking me lately what exact one I used. So I'll put a link for that in the description too. I'll also leave a link to the SVG file for the Hello Sunshine if you want to cut that out on your Cricut too. Um, but I just went ahead and filled that in with some ink Waverly chalk paint just by stippling it on with a flat foam brush, which basically means you're just bouncing your brush up and down. Just use a little bit of paint and you should be good to go. No bleeding underneath. Um, so then I just went ahead and weeded that out. Once everything was completely dry, I sanded those letters down as well. Like I said, I did a whole lot of distressing on the sign. You absolutely do not have to do that if that's not your style. It is mine. I know it's a whole lot of distressing. So not everyone's style, but that's what I love. So that's what you're going to see here on this channel. I think it turned out so pretty and it's like just a little pop of color that we needed in that corner on the porch. So we're kind of hopping around in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys this candle that I got from Target. It's an outdoor candle. It's like a lemon scent or something, and it smells so, so good. And then we actually went ahead and moved this table down to the patio by the basement. I will be doing a video on that later on, but it's not done yet, and this video is long enough as it is. So. Here is the final look of the back deck. Ignore my weird toes. <laughs> this is the beautiful rug that we got from Target. I kind of feel like this is almost like boho vibes on the back deck, but I really like the pattern on this rug. And then we have that little basket planter from Walmart. I think it matches the rug perfectly. And another small planter from Walmart. We did grab that one because we needed an extra planter after we took all of those little purple flowers out of that railing box that we didn't, you know, weren't able to use. And then we have a few extra little buckets on the railing since those planter boxes didn't work and I think they're so cute out here. And this is how it looks when you're coming out. In the corner we have our little basil plant from Zach's mom. I was able to repot it in this beautiful concrete pot from Target. Like I said, I will try to link everything down in the description that I can find. I noticed the side of the wall is kind of dirty and that's probably because of watering and rain and things like that splash the dirt up on the sides. <laughs> So we definitely need to do a good washing on this deck. We actually looked at, at home first and all of their patio chairs were so, so expensive, like around the $200 mark for one. And we decided to just go to Home Goods and see if there was anything. We were pretty skeptical and we found these beautiful chairs for 50 bucks. And they're actually adjustable. The back is adjustable so it can go forward and backwards. And then we grabbed these 
cushions from home goods as well and threw those on there and then we have this really cute farmhouse like industrial look little end table that we got at, at home and I just think it's so so cute and matches everything out here really well um, we just put that candle on there some wax spilled out of it I don't even know when that happened we only burned it once so far and it was just Zach and I out there so maybe it got hot from the sun and Bree spilled it I'm not sure she likes to come out and play on the deck but we have her little grass hair guy <laughs> and also a little lavender grow kit that we started here in the little bag <laughs> Lastly, we do have these string lights up along the top of the deck and we get some beautiful sunsets out this direction. So it's really pretty with the lights and then just sitting in our chairs and watching the sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how it turned out. I can't pop a and then this is how the front porch turned out. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. I think the rug really tied everything together. I think it looks so much better in person too than you can even tell in pictures or the video. But I hope you enjoy the way this turned out. If you made it to the end of the video, leave your favorite flower emoji down in the comments so that I know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. Don't forget I do have all of my social media linked down in the description, like my Instagram. You can see more uh, pictures of our family life and just different inspiration for crafts and things like that. I do have my Pinterest link below as well, which has uh, tons of ideas and inspiration for you guys. And also don't forget, I have a Facebook group where you can share all of your beautiful creations with me. I love to see what you guys are working on. And also, I will be getting a PO box very soon when I make it to 20,000 subscribers. Right now when I'm doing this voiceover, I just need like 92 subscribers to get to 20,000, which is super exciting for me. It's a big milestone. And um, once I get to 20K, I will finally be getting a P.O. box. You guys can send me letters or whatever you want. I will also be doing a big giveaway when I get to 20,000. So make sure if you enjoy my videos to share them with your friends and family too so that you can help me get to 20K faster. And we can do that big giveaway of all kinds of stuff I've been saving up for you guys. So I'm really excited to do that for you because I appreciate all of you so much and I just want to give back a little bit of what you guys have given to me. I absolutely love that I can do this job from home and stay home with Brie. So you guys have no idea what it means to me that you take the time to watch my channel every week. I do finally have an upload schedule. I will be uploading every Friday at 5 p.m. And if it's not going to happen for some reason, if I'm doing a collab on a different day or something like that, I will let you guys know in advance, like on my community tab. But I do have an upload schedule of every Friday at 5 p.m. And then on my new channel, I will be uploading every Thursday at 5 p.m. So make sure you're watching out for those videos. Turn on your notification bell so that you know every single time that I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.